Narrated by Abu Qatayda al-Ansari Allah's Messenger peace be upon him was praying and he was carrying Imamah the daughters of Zainab, the daughter of Allah's Messenger peace be upon him and she was the daughter of As bin Rabia bin Abd Shams. When he prostrated, he put her down and when he stood, he carried her, on his neck. Narrated by Ma'imuna bint Al-Harith My bed was beside the praying place, Musala, of the Prophet peace be upon him and sometimes his garment fell on me while I used to lie in my bed. Narrated by Ma'imuna The Prophet peace be upon him used to pray while I used to sleep beside him during my periods, menses, and in prostration his garment used to touch me. Narrated by Aisha it is not good that you people have made us, women, equal to dogs and donkeys. No doubt I saw Allah's messenger peace be upon him praying while I used to lie between him and the Qibla and when he wanted to prostrate, he pushed my legs and I withdrew them. Narrated by Amor bin Ma'iman Abdullah bin Majud said, while Allah's messenger peace be upon him was praying beside the Kaaba, there were some Quraysh people sitting in a gathering. One of them said, Don't you see this, who does deeds just to show off? Who amongst you can go and bring the dung, blood, and the abdominal contents, intestines, etc., of the slaughtered camels of the family of so and so and then wait till he prostrates and put that in between his shoulders? The most unfortunate amongst them, Akba bin Abi Mu'ad, went, and brought them, and when Allah's messenger peace be upon him prostrate, he put them between his shoulders. The Prophet remained in prostration and they laughed so much so that they fell on each other. A passerby went to Fatima, who was a young girl in those days. She came running and the Prophet peace be upon him was still in prostration. She removed them and cursed upon the Quraysh on their faces. When Allah's Messenger peace be upon him completed his prayer, he said, O oh Allah! Take revenge on Quraysh. He said so thrice and added, O oh Allah! Take revenge on Amor bin Hisham, Utba bin Rabia, Shaiba bin Rabia, Al-Walid bin Utba, Bumaya bin Khalaf, Utba bin Abi Mu'ayt and Umar bin Al-Walid. Abdullah added, By Allah! I saw all of them dead in the battlefield on the day of Badr and they were dragged and thrown in the Caleb, a well, at Badr, Allah's messenger peace be upon him then said, Allah's curse has descended upon the people of the Caleb, well.